Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a two-step equation. So my equation is 5x plus 2 equals 17. My unknown variable is x and I need to find the value of the variable x. Basically, I want x equals something. So I want my x isolated, um, x by itself on the left-hand side and then some value of it on the right-hand side. So this equation is a two-step equation because it will only require two steps to solve. We'll only need two steps to get x by itself, to isolate x. So basically, the first step is to remove the number that is added or subtracted to your variable. You see that 2 is added to 5x. So first of all, we'll eliminate, we'll try to eliminate this plus 2. When you solve the equation, you always do the opposite operation to eliminate. So this is plus 2 since 2 is added. What is the opposite of adding 2? Well, addition and subtraction are the inverse operations. So opposite of addition is subtraction, opposite of subtraction is addition. So opposite of adding 2 will be subtracting 2. So I'm going to subtract 2 from the left hand side and we have to make sure that we put a number under the number. And when you solve the equation, this other thing that you need to keep in mind is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the same thing to the other side as well uh, so that your equation remains equal. So if you're subtracting 2 from the left-hand side of equal sign, you will also have to subtract 2 from the right-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 2 from this side as well. Now just to make it look neat and organized, I'm going to make a T here real quick. Now positive 2 and negative 2. So this will this will be 0. This this will just go away. And we're only left with 5x on the left hand side. Then we have equal sign and then 17 minus 2 gives us 15. Now we only need one more step in order to get the variable x by itself. You see that number 5 is attached to x. So we need to eliminate this 5. Basically this is 5 times x. When you see a number and the variable attached, there's always a multiplication sign hidden between them. So this is 5 times x. And to eliminate anything from the equation, we need to do the opposite operation. So what is the opposite of multiplying by 5? Your x is being multiplied by 5. Opposite of multiplying by 5 would be dividing by 5. So I'm going to divide this by 5. Now, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do the same thing to the other side as well. So I will divide by 5 on the other side as well. Now, let's make a T to keep it organized. Okay, so now this 5 and this 5 will cancel out each other. Basically, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And we're left with x on the left-hand side, which is all we need. We have equal sign and then 15 divided by 5 gives us 3. So x is equal to 3. We're able to solve. We're able to get x by itself in two simple steps. The first step was to remove the number that is added or subtracted to the variable. And the second step is to get x by itself by dividing it with the coefficient. So we got x equals 3. Now, let's see if I want to check my answer, whether this answer is correct or not. So what I can do is I can take this value, x equals 3, and then plug this value back into my question, my original equation. My original equation was 5x plus 2 equals 17. If I plug in x equals 3 here, this should satisfy my equation. So this is 5x, so basically 5 times 3. And then plus 2, because I plugged in the value of x here, x is equal to 3. And then the remaining equation will stay the same. Now, we simplify this. This is 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we have 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Well, 15 plus 2 is 17, and 17 is indeed equal to 17. Since this makes my equation true, I know that my answer is correct. So x is equal to 3. This is how you solve a two-step equation. I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.